so the boss is setting up her end of the uh, upstairs here already. So we got to get the stairs closed in because we do have a two-year-old and uh, she'll most likely be up here with her from time to time. We've got the rest of the floor closed up. All that good stuff finally took the uh, chain hoist out of the floor that was over top of the sawmill. You guys probably saw that one four by six there that I was always stepping over. So get that out, get the boards on. Um, you got to make a better railing than this. This was a temporary my father-in-law put in while they were doing the roof. So what we're going to do, we're going to get a wall along here and we're going to carry it to the back. Now I was going to go all the way out here, but that's a lot of wasted space that I could use to put storage in, things like this. So what we're going to do, we're going to come to about here with it and then we're going to go straight back to that stud on that wall. And then the rest of it we're going to make like a storage closet for tools, stuff like that, or just filming stuff, whatever, you know what I mean? Maybe we'll, we'll see what we, what we do with it. But So to do that, big thing I want to get just this wall across here tonight and across here and get the top on it because we put the top on it, that'll be another spot we could possibly set stuff. Might be a good place to mount an air compressor, something like that, and then we could run lines. But we'll just, we'll just see what happens. But... Uh, also, I can tell you, because we still have, I shouldn't even tell you guys this, we still have that north wall on the first floor to close up. Um, I'm just about out of materials again, so I thought I had enough for it, but you guys know how that goes. You never figure enough by the time you get your the waste and things like that cut. But if I can get this sealed up, that'll cut down on the breeze that's coming up here quite a bit, especially if you give north wind. So... That's what we're up to tonight. Nothing too major. Uh, haven't been running the camera too much when I'm working on the barn stuff, but um, I figured, what the hell? Why not? We'll do it. We'll do it tonight for a little bit. So, anyway, stay tuned. Hope you enjoy it, and I'll catch you on the other side. You know, it's still a little funny feeling working around this opening, even though there's stairs here now. Because, boy, that, I was standing when that, that pole slid. So I, I don't know if I, how much I ever explained really what happened when, when I went down through here. But you guys remember when I stood the gable lens up, I had, that, uh, I had the gin pole mounted on the outside of the building. Because uh, the shear legs, I couldn't do it with those uh, from the inside. So I had that, that gin pole mounted kind of right in the middle. I had my come along over here in the corner and I had block and tackle going from uh, this queen post bent to that gin pole. So what was happened, what I did was I lowered that thing down. In one of the old videos you could see how I, how I lowered it down. It was actually like the day before or a couple days before I had lowered it down. So what I was doing, I had one end of it and I was just kind of trying to, to bring it back in the building but I had to bring it back around this this queen post here and what happened I got it I was standing about over here and I got it inside just a little bit and I was on this side of it that damn thing slid and it tripped me so I was about right here when it tripped me and I started going in, started tipping forward head first. I had just enough time to launch. I ended up having to jump into the hole. And the ladder was over here against, uh, it, was, it was right over here against the edge of the stairwell hole. I tried to catch the ladder. I landed at the bottom of that ladder just like this. It must have looked like a cartoon because I, 
I landed with all the weight on that right leg. <laughs> I just kind of tipped over backwards, and yeah, that was that was a good time. So it's a little, it's still a little weird working right here, but uh, it's a lot more comfortable with stairs right there. But I tell you, I still don't want to fall down here again ever. That was just no fun. But so it's kind of, it's definitely kind of different working over here in this corner still. But the more I change and the more I do with it the less awkward it feels. Plus having, uh, you know, all this crap I stacked here naturally. That kind of helps too, I guess. Well, I guess now we just get boards on it, so that'll be on the next one. Tell you what, it takes me a lot longer than it used to just to get something small like this built in. Terrible, absolutely terrible. Do you guys believe it's January? And I've got a little bit of rain hitting this roof right now. That's crazy. It's supposed to be like below zero the next couple nights from now. This weather is nuts this year. Just cannot decide what it wants to do. But there we have it what we have so better than nothing I suppose but we'll take anything we can right now uh, I gotta get I want to get back on that bookcase I've been working on a little bit but we do have to get this closed I've got to get this toddler proof right now up here or at least as toddler proof as I can make it because uh, the boss lady we've been getting her uh, weight benches and stuff up here and her exercise stuff I tell you, that's one woman you guys don't want to fool with. She's, I think she could bench press me. So I don't mess with her too much. But uh, anyway, there it is, guys. I hope you enjoyed it uh, just a little bit. This, this is a vlog, man. This is, uh, we do a little bit at a time. It's pretty much what we're working on when we're working on it. So we'll save the compilation videos when we actually have projects done. And we'll do a big compilation on whatever the project was. Kind of like what we did with the barn when I did the uh, the wooden barn series. There's four videos in that if you guys haven't seen that before. But that's kind of an overlay if you're just looking to see the kind of the progress from start to almost finished. Those uh, that's what those are. If you guys are looking for the information on the how-to stuff, you want to check out the timber frame vlog playlist. There's a ton of videos in there that have a bunch of information on how to build what we're standing in right now. Things you can do to lay out the joints, layout rules, things like that. There's a ton of information in there. So that's, uh, that's seven or eight years worth of uh, me reading up, studying my ass off, trying to figure it out, asking questions of timber framers and people in the know. It kind of all comes together in that vlog playlist. So if you guys are new to the channel and you have not checked that out yet, I know a lot of you have come here because of the wooden barn videos. You want to know more on how to do this, check out those videos, and there's a lot of information in there. And don't forget, down the road in the not-too-distant future, we're going to have another timber frame project coming up. Uh, I actually went out this past weekend cruising timber for it, so I've got a buddy of mine who has a line on some pine for me, and uh, we went and checked those out in the woods. Um, 
should be fun. Looks like a pretty safe place to cut. The trees are in good spots for falling. It's not a tangled mess in there like the last place I was cutting timber, which was a beautiful place. It was a great place to cut, but uh, this will be a little bit safer for me. Not moving as fast as I used to. I got to make sure I can get out of the way of the trees in case something goes south. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you on the next one.